We just got some major leaks and some huge information around the Part 2 Scarlet and Violet DLC. This stuff is pretty cool, and apparently one of them is with a 19th Pokemon type, so a brand new Pokemon type. Right now we have 18, and apparently we're getting a whole new one. I'll get into that in just a little bit. The biggest part of this information as well is like the names of some of the new Pokemon coming into the game, such as Diplin, we got Entei's new Paradox form, and we got a lot more going on right here. I'm getting all this information from Centro Leaks. He's like the number one guy, in my opinion, to go to for reputable leaks and everything, but I don't think he's the guy that actually found all these leaks. I'm pretty sure a guy that goes by ABC Boy on X or Twitter, I'm pretty sure he's the guy that actually data mined this. If I'm wrong, please comment down below. So it looks like Diplin's new evolution is either going to be called Hydrapple or Hydraplin. So here we got Entei's Paradox form. I don't know if this is a fan-made art. I think this might be fan-made art. I don't know if that's data mine, like that picture specifically. But it, let's just say if that is real, that's a, that's a really good version of Entei in my opinion. A lot of these Paradox forms are not that great. So his name is going to be between Gotharita and Gorgais. So... The name is most likely going to start with Goo or Gao, however you want to say it. So the weird thing about these leaks is like, in the files, in the data mine files, these are like riddles in the files, I guess, to so we can kind of figure out the names, which is actually pretty smart because it's so hard for gaming companies to actually release anything now before it gets data mine because everything has to be like uploaded to the internet and everything but everything just gets data mined so here we got terrakion's paradox form it's going to start with either iron a or iron b it's going to be a name that's in between inteleon and iron bundle that seems pretty cool here we got doku taro this is i'm pretty sure the new legendary that they haven't announced yet but the new legendary that's coming into the game which could possibly be the mythical i don't think it's the mythical but um apparently doku taro might not be its name so the name is going to be between Ponyard and Pelipper, and it's most likely going to start with P.E. because it's a Peach Pokemon, so um, this guy that made this picture says like Peach, could be Peach, but I don't think it's going to be Peach. It might be something that has Peach in it and then expands on that a little bit, I guess. Also, really quickly guys, I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 10,000 subs for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card, so all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video, comment down below, let me know you want to be in the giveaway, stay tuned for future videos, and subscribe to the channel, and then you'll be entered, and then when I actually hit 10,000, I'll be announcing that giveaway winner. So there's another Twitter user by the name of Pearl Enthusiast, which he kind of came up with some names that he thinks are most likely going to be accurate to these new Pokemon coming into the new DLC. I'm not going to read all of them, I'll just go through a few. So Momotaro or Dokutaro, which I thought it was Dokutaro, but I think Momotaro is the book that these legendary Pokemon were actually based from. He believes it's going to be called Pichakin, or Peach. yeah, Pichakin. I think that's how it's pronounced. Definitely going to start with Peach. Makes total sense though, because like I said earlier, it is a Peach Pokemon. Paradox Terrakion is either going to be Iron Boulder or Bedrock. I don't think Iron Bedrock sounds good. I think Iron Boulder sounds a lot better. It's definitely going to start with Iron. That totally makes sense. Um, so I like that a lot. Iron Boulder. In my opinion, Paradox Entei is the most interesting one. So he has four options here. Gouging Heat, Gouging Fire, Gouging Seer, and Gouging Ash. I honestly like all of these. I don't mind any of these. These are all pretty cool sounding, pretty straight to the point as well. Now I'm going to move on to the new 19th type of Pokemon. Apparently, the 19th type is going to be called Stellar type. That sounds awesome. I don't know exactly what that means. I know Stellar, that could possibly mean like some type of star, like astronomy type of Pokemon type. That sounds really awesome to me. It's been a while since we've had a new Pokemon type, and I think this is awesome. It's it's kind of strange that it's coming in a DLC, in my opinion. Like, it's kind of weird that we're getting a brand new type of Pokemon within just, like, the part two of a DLC. You would think they would do this in a brand new game to kind of maybe make people want to play the game more. Also, this makes me wonder, like, would they put previously made pokemon in this category of the stellar type because there are a lot of pokemon that could technically fit that stellar name like um somebody commented here minior soul rock lunatune staryu clefairy jirachi deoxys rayquaza like that's so true i don't remember the last time we've had a new pokemon type like i said it's been a, a been a while 
Um, so I guess it's going to be interesting to see what they do. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with the new designs of future stellar type Pokemon. I think this is a great idea to get a new Pokemon type though, because I think a lot of the Pokemon designs have been getting a little bit lackluster. Not all of them. I've already made this point in a few videos in the past, but just some Pokemon designs are just not that great. And I feel like that's because they're limited to the typing. So maybe this brand new stellar type of Pokemon could bring in a wave of new amazing looking Pokemon. And also somebody else commented on this thread, Eevee Stellar Evolution. That would be cool. We don't have an evolution for all the types though, so it's not really confirmed that we're getting a new Eevee evolution for the Stellar type. I would love that though. I think a Stellar Eevee Lucian would look absolutely insane. It's going to be crazy that if this is true, of course, that we're going to have 19 types of Pokemon. That's insane to me. It's crazy that there are 19 types in total. Like, I wonder when we're going to get our 20th. We'll probably get that within a few years, maybe the next generation of Pokemon games. And also, there is a small rumor of getting a mainline game announced next year, I believe. I can't remember if it was it being announced next year or released next year. So that's pretty cool. I kind of made a video about that, so I don't know if I should make a whole dedicated video about that again. Um, because I made my video before that leak was like official, I guess you could say, or officially leaked by reputable people and everything. So I guess we're, we might get a new mainline Pokemon game next year. I don't know what it would be. I feel like it would probably be some type of, that's like the one thing that I'm assuming is like most likely going to happen is just like a paradox game. And also one more small leak. Um, so there are going to be apparently 25 new legendaries, or not new legendaries, but legendaries from previous generations of Pokemon that are going to be in the new DLC, the Indigo Disc, and they're not going to be shiny locked. So get ready for a bunch of shiny hunt videos from a lot of people. I really want to do one one day. I don't, I never shiny hunted really, so... I don't know if I'll do one, but that sounds really fun. So also, I was just looking through Central Leaks Twitter again. I don't know how I missed this. This was literally tweeted yesterday. So it looks like a new mainline series game is going to be announced in 2024. So that kind of confirms what I said earlier of it not being released, but just announced because we're also getting a new Pokemon series next year. And some people are also rumoring that there's going to be a new Pokemon movie next year. So if there's a new Pokemon series or movie, Pretty much that means there's going to be a brand new game so in celebration of pokemon day 2024 fans will be able to embark on an all new pokemon animated adventure when pokemon horizons the series premieres in more markets early next year so i can't wait to see what the next mainline game is going to be i wonder if it's going to be generation 10 i wonder if it's going to be i uh like side a side mainline game such as a legends game or another new title that's going to come to the pokemon lineup let me know what you guys think down in the comments though hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time